today what is so rad about QD connectors for your photo straps. Well, hey everybody, it's Hudson here, and I'm in Joshua Tree National Park out on a scouting uh, trip. It's just been amazing, and, and one of the things that I brought along on this trip that I haven't used before is a combination of Kirk's new L bracket, their new lens foot for my 70 to 200 millimeter lens, and Luma Labs' brand new Loop 3 QD. And it's just this amazing, so you've got to, you know, Luma makes my favorite just simple, no-nonsense sliding strap. And then Kirk has integrated these little QDs in the bottom of the L brackets and lens feet, so lens feet, lens feet that they're producing now. And the killer thing is this strap, just the sliders has this tiny little fitting with a push button and it puts a bomb-proof connection just right there into your L bracket and it swivels so no more figuring out, you know, well, which side do I want it mounted so my camera hangs backward or forward like I used to. It just, it's right where you want it wherever and it swivels around and is perfect to photograph with whenever you need it. So I think it's just like an awesome, awesome time-saving uh, uh, connection. Like if I want to jump on the tripod, boom, I'm on the tripod. If I want to use my long lens running around, that's really nice too because they've put for both my 500 PF, my 300 PF, and the and the 70 to 200 a QD on there, so you can have the camera hanging right there on your side, either forward or backward. Um, you can always just adjust. It's just a really nice system. I feel like there's always been a little something wrong with every strap system that I've used up to this point. You know, something's mildly annoying. And you know, the only thing I'd say about that could potentially be improved for some adventure stuff, a little note to my friends at Luma is, you know, now and then this strap moves around a little bit, maybe just a, an underarm connector that's optional that you could keep it just right in place, but it's pretty darn awesome. And it's low profile enough that I don't really have a problem putting my bag right on the top of this and just running my waist strap in between here so that I can get easy access while I'm carrying my gear. So a really, really cool product. I had a couple questions about the scouting trip last week about when a Joshua Tree workshop is going to happen. It's a, such a cool place. I feel like Joshua Tree is one of the better places I've been yet to teach composition because it's got this just never-ending mess of lines and rocks and vegetation and trees and light playing in different directions. It's going to be awesome. It's also going to be next winter, that you know time where a lot of us are particularly me up in Oregon, kind of buried in wet and rain. Joshua Tree is a nice place to get away to in the winter with sunshine and, and warmth. So probably in the February time range, but uh, look for it early 2021. All right, everybody. Thanks so much. We'll see you next week.